After almost a year-long search, students, faculty, staff, and Hamden residents filled the Mount Carmel Auditorium Monday to hear who would be Quinnipiac's next president. This morning, the board of directors voted unanimously for the next president of Quinnipiac University, and they elected Dr. Judy Olian, um, who is the dean of the Anderson School of Business at UCLA. Olian, an Australian native, has worked at countless higher academic institutions, such as UCLA, Penn State, and the University of Maryland. While many were excited with the news, countless Quinnipiac students were surprised that when the announcement came, Mark Thompson was not walking to the stage. Dr. Judy Olian, the next president of Quinnipiac. Thank you. Thanks everyone so much and I can't tell you how thrilled I am to be here. After Olian gave a speech regarding her plans for the future of Quinnipiac, the floor was open for questions from the audience. And a vision that builds on this institution's already amazing accomplishments. Our sense of community is dwindling. How would you build that sense of community coming in? Hamden Mayor Kurt Lang also had a chance to grab the mic. And I just wanted to, on the behalf of the town, uh, to, to congratulate you, uh, to welcome you, and to say that I very much look forward to working with you in, into the future. Not only is Olean ready to work with Hamden, she also expressed that she is ready to continue to make Quinnipiac a more inclusive campus. I think there needs to be a lot of attention paid to how men and women support the development of women in major senior executive leadership roles and I want to see more of that. Based on the press conference and event, most students and faculty can see a new era for Quinnipiac on the horizon and many are ready to welcome it with open arms. I'm very excited. I think she'll have a really great change. Um, I'm excited it's a woman, our first female president. And she seemed really, um, not like she wanted to come in and change everything, but she wanted to come in, immerse herself in the Quinnipiac culture that already exists, and then build on that and grow from it. I'm always wary about change at first, but usually I come to accept it, and I think I'm already starting to accept it. I'm really excited for that new energy she's going to bring here and hopefully bring us back together as a community after we've become so divided, in my opinion. I think Quinnipiac is in for a new era, and it's hard to follow John Leahy after 31 years, but I believe they found someone who can do that. But she also has the benefit of a terrific supporting cast, including Provost Thompson and so many other people who've been here a long time. So it's, it's not like we're in the hands of somebody who won't know what's going on. She'll have a quick track into finding out what it is and how we can do better, even better, than we're doing now. Olean will officially take over for Leahy on July 1st. And until then, she will visit the university in the months to come as a part of the transition process. For Q30 News, Callie Keys.